watching a master at work. All right, so I just got back from Denver. I got a JZX100 ECU. And also, I got the flywheel resurfaced. Look how mint that is. Damn, I got the ARP flywheel bolts right here. Getting ready to put this on, so uh, I'm just gonna time lapse that. And then one of the subscribers on here said that they would like to see how you got this AC compressor. So I'll go ahead. Okay, so if you're ever doing a 110, a JZX 110 to a JZX 100, you may have to mess with the wiring. Uh, I put a JZX 100 harness on here. Pretty much on the injector clips, any wire that is black with white trace is a ground. The rest are power, so just keep that in mind. Also, MAF wiring is different. JZX 110 plug. Brown, yellow, what is this? Red with blue trace, white and black with red trace. So, in order to figure that out, I have a JZX100 plug on my other car. It goes lime green, brown, red with white trace, white, and then black with red trace. So, in this order. So, you could pause the video here. You need to figure out this is one JZX 110 math wiring from left to right, and I just matched them up with the JZX 100 math wiring left to right. So you can pause the video if you need to. Lime green, brown, red with white trace, green with black trace, and black with red trace. So some of the wires are the same colors on the other ones. Also, I did the flywheel like I showed you. Um, this coolant pipe is bent. I have to bend that back somehow. Also, if you're doing JZX100 throttle body on 110 engine, you need the top two bolts. You have to buy some. Uh, as you can see, because they're like freaking a million feet long. But, uh, so far everything else is good. My friend pretty much, on this harness on his car, he already wired it for, you know, power and stuff. So I plugged the ECU in, in here. The MREL and B plus plug, so these plugs right here. That plug on the top of my nail, this plug on the top of my nail, and this bottom right plug on the top of my nail all need power. That's how you run them. And this, where are you at? These, all these black wires are injectors. Those need power. Or injectors or uh, fuel in, or uh, or an igniter chip. Um, these white trace black wires are fuel or injectors or, or igniters, so those need power as well. It's a blue plug on the factory JZX100 harness, um, and the factory 240 plug also needs a ground. It's the one right behind this passenger headlight. There's a pin, if you Google a pin, that's the fuel pump trigger. That has nothing to do with the JZX110 harness, obviously. But uh, he pretty much did this already on his car, so all I have to do is run this to ground. I think a couple of these to power. And then, I guess this is a coolant temp sensor gauge, I don't know what that is. And then that's that. Everything else pretty much plugs well in. Uh, I have the pin diagrams I'll put up in here if you need them. Um, and also in the link of the description, but uh, nice thing about this is it doesn't have idle air control So you just set your TPS you don't have to deal with all that stuff And then just put it all together and I'm gonna try and get this put in this week Hopefully and then try and get it running So if any of you want to buy JZX 110 ECU and harness, let me know. Uh, it's just gonna sit in my garage otherwise 
or a throttle body. I don't know if people like doing drive-by wire, but that's what that is. All right, here's a video for those of you that would like to figure out how to gut the AC compressor and reuse it. Basically, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. This is the magnetic clutch for it. Um, I got stupid packaging material all over the place. So what you want to do, let's see here. Take all this shit off real quick. Take this bolt out. Then you have to get an Allen wrench. So I just have my generic Allen's uh, metric. You have to take those off after. But uh, you may have to use a three prong puller. I, I didn't have to on my last one, but uh, this one I might have to. So lo and behold, I take this off. Look what I find. Even wasps and bees like JZ's, bud. Look at the little guy in there, he's like, yeah, Jay-Z. I fucking love Jay-Z's. <laughs> okay, so David came over, and uh, we got we got Snowgate out here in Colorado, so I got my ghetto light set up, and this little shitty heater. But, uh... I got the clutch tool at O'Reilly for Jay-Z parts. Imagine that. I thought everyone said Jay-Z parts, you can't get them. So I bought some sandpaper. I'm going to scuff up these pucks on this clutch. And then put it on the freshly machined flywheel. Put the RP flywheel bolts on everything. Lock tight at them. La 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 la. Trying to clean this shit show garage up after everything gets nice. But can't do that right now. So uh, we're going to do that. Alright, so on this AC compressor, David's getting this snap ring out because he's a mastermind. You need snap ring pullers to get that off. For some reason on the JZX110, I didn't have to do that. So, uh, this one, obviously you gotta pull up all these fucking pieces of shit, but, uh, you find a Phillips for you, David. I have Allen's right here. Oh, Hammer it down. Hammer it in there. So yeah, basically you need to take these Allen's off. And then these stupid Phillips that hold sensors and shit on. And then use this whole front housing. These Allen's take this casing apart. It looks like a little mini piston engine in there. You want to use this only front housing, bolt it back on the engine to support the power steering pump because if you don't, the power steering pump will flex and then spin a belt and then you'll be wrecking into walls and shit like that when you're drifting. So. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so you just take these uh, Allen bolts out of here and this breaks the casing apart and then like I said, you use that bracket to put back on. No more power steering problems for free. Faux free, David. But no, uh, David helped me get the shiny on here. Uh, that's good. 
got this O2 sensor put in, all that stuff, the external gate. Got to route the uh, ball valve vacuum diagrams and stuff. And then, yeah, pretty much uh, we have this giant snowstorm, so otherwise I'd probably be putting this in either tomorrow or the next day, but it just depends on when that comes out. So David took apart the compressor, and this is what it looks like inside. All these little pistons. They barely move at all. With penises on them. Just kidding, that's gay. I'm not gay. But yeah, look it. So the AC ro ro compressor rotates from the pulley. It rotates clockwise and the ship is counterclockwise. It's weird. So uh, it just pushes those and pressurizes the Freon in there. It's weird because Nissan is fucking stroke. And then... Look at that. Aluminum. Aluminum. It's actually a, a what would you call a prototype engine called the Duke engine that works like this, but yeah, someone took a AZ compressor part and they're like, oh, look at that. Made it bigger and put an engine in it. Yeah, you but can, that's that. You can turn one of these into an engine. Yeah. All you have to do is machine. Put plugs above the top. Yeah, all you have to do is machine like a thing. And then like, in, and take like exhaust port and there you go. Yeah, or you can put two of them together. Then just figure out how to freaking you need a squirt fuel. Put it. that, yeah, put that and transfer the 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 uh, combustion to output, so we can. Yep, yeah, that's what happens. I did that last time. Trevor got sad. Trevor got sad because I did that to his. He's like, "What the fuck?" Well, that's fucking crazy. Well, uh, to turbo. No, they roll. There's just two like little fucking round bearings that roll on this this because it's offset. Mm -hmm. That's how it like moves the pistons. Turbo, bud. Look at that turbo center section. Yeah. Nobody has a spring inside. Oh fuck. Just finished up that uh, AC compressor delete. David took that apart and then put the tranny on. Uh, put the starter on. So. uh Here's that line I was talking about. Then you get that Bando part number in my part one video for this AC delete belt. So it's the right length. This is the routing of the belt in case you need to learn that. But basically you take this off and it is gutted on the back. You take all that out. It's hollow in here if you see. So you take that one, two, three bolts that supports the power steering pump. And then you won't have belt problems. A lot of people have belt problems. And I have never had a belt problem in three years of driving my car. And I suck, so I clutch kick and I spin out and do all this dumb shit. So that's how you eliminate that. And then also, the next part I'm going to cut these off. So I don't like this stupid cross connection. It doesn't make it easy when you want to take shit apart from the front of the engine in the car. You have to take all this stupid coolant bullshit out. So you just cut this little neck with a sawzall or an angle grinder or something. And do a KA radiator, stop messing around. Luckily they sent me this uh, hose on here so I don't have to be an idiot like I did with my last one. And put a giant truck hose on there that doesn't fit. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, I'm going to call the dude that gave me this harness and try and figure out the connections on that. But uh, that will be in part three, all this extra stuff. Hopefully this snow will go away so I can put this in.